is color always necessary in data visualization? So, uh, yeah, like are there circumstances where we don't need it? Yes, absolutely. You don't always need color, but just just to keep in mind, gray, white, and black are also colors, right? So, whoa, I what? know. <laughs> so, we don't always need to overload the visuals with the colors of the rainbow. Um, I actually highly recommend that if you're creating a data visualization, you start with a black and white or grayscale mode, and then take a step back think, do you understand this chart or graph without any color? And then think through, who's my audience? What am I trying to tell them? And then see if you can properly use an uh, intentionally planned color scheme mm -hmm. to highlight mm -hmm. specific data points that can help you tell that story. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It really is, that's like the whole thing, that it is as, as simple as that. And I think people miss that, uh, probably because a lot of the tools, technology that they're using it comes preloaded with just so right. much color. And For sure. it's, it's like, do you want these six colors or these six colors? And you're like, well, do I need color? Start with that. That is a really good point. So you start with assessing whether you need color at all. You can use grayscale to start and then add color uh, intentionally, one by one. Yes. And you probably have things like, you know, the most prominent color that you're gonna have uh, is maybe like your first choice. Yeah. And then you have kind of like background colors. Cool. Um, so yeah, is that the whole like thought process that one should follow when selecting a color scheme for data visualization? Or do you have like some other tips? Well, I have a lot of tips. I have a whole book full of tips, but <laughs> I will share a couple more here. So I think it's important to consider who is this visual intended to be seen by? So who is the actual audience? Who is the reader of this chart? And then think through sort of their perceptions, their cultures, their associations with color, and make sure that you use colors that won't offend them, that won't confuse them, that won't make them, you know, want to not look at this chart for one reason Did or you another. Say offend? Yes. Some are colors you, offend. Are you offended right now? Yes, absolutely. So let's say you're talking about uh, death and death for, you know, whatever, something really bad happened and you're reporting on death and you're using colors like hot pink, bright yellow, and like things that make people want to smile. Like it, it's sort of contradictory. It doesn't make sense. It's almost as if the colors are conveying that you're happy about what's happened. And you do that unintentionally because sometimes you're the software is like, here, use this pink and yellow vibrant colors to spice it up where you should be using something like maybe a deep purple or, um, black or something like that right to signify purple sadness. bad for burgers good for death <laughs> yeah <laughs> that should be the name of the episode <laughs> <laughs> seriously i love it <laughs> cool sorry and i interrupted you you were oh my god you were talking about other tips and i completely spoke over you it's probably gonna be impossible to remember what were. <laughs> no 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 there 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 are a lot of tips so uh back to the audience right so not only do we need to think about what are they thinking psychologically culturally we also have to make sure that they can actually see color properly, right? So taking accessibility into account and um, thinking through the fact that um, there is a percentage of men and women that cannot see, differentiate different colors as clearly. So red and green, for example, is a mm -hmm. pretty common um, color form of colorblindness where you might not see any differences between the similar shades of green and red, which is crazy because, I mean, hello, traffic lights, stock market, like wow. red and green is everywhere. Wow. I don't know how. I'd never thought of that. It's so obvious. That's such a really good glare. I know. That's why Man. it helps when it's like, you know, red on top and yellow and green on the bottom. So at least you know positionally. But right. yeah, if you are one of the, you know, unlucky few who can't see the differences, then you're pretty much seeing it as a, as a mix. If you were to mix green and red together, it's like this nasty looking color. That's what they see. 